Okay everyone, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more Let's Play, or Let's Play, uh, Mario Party 1 board playthroughs. I am making my first movement, and I'm going to get a blue square, or blue space. Also, whenever you go around the entire board in this game, uh, you'll run into Koopa Troopa, who will give you 10 coins every time you cross him. He can give you coins in bigger incre increments depending on uh, if you get like the 10th person across or the 20th person across and so on. Okay, we're in our first mini game. This is a four player mini game called Keep Away. Uh, we're actually working all together on this one. There's no winner, no loser. We just have to get to the very end. And of oh crap. Oh no, 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 no. Okay, throw it over here, DK. Uh, or don't. Just take. Why'd you throw it over there? That was stupid. Oh come on, that was that was stupid. DK was right there, and he threw the key backwards. That was just painful. Okay, so we all lose five coins for that disaster of a mini game. <sighs> I can't believe they did that. Okay, Mario's gonna play a one-player mini game. Limbo Dance. This is perhaps the hardest one-player minigame in my opinion because the controls are very shaky, the object is pretty simple. You want a limbo, you uh, lean back farther than where you press the A button, but if you press it too much or if you press it too far, uh, Mario will actually fall down. But you want to try to avoid the limbo sticks. It can be hard or it can be easy because... Oh! Mario missed. Mario failed. Uh, sometimes there's like one limbo dance course where it's like very easy and it's like <laughs> it's just really easy that's all I can say about it well hey at least I'm winning with eight coins not a good beginning for all of us don't worry things will change I didn't realize how slow paced this was because DK is moving very very slowly I never realized how slow paced this was. Okay, happening space. It switches the placement of Toad and Bowser. That's going to be very annoying, especially when we get so close and we have the whole movement planned out and then someone just randomly lands on a happening space. That gets very, very annoying. Come on, press the A button. Slot Car Derby. You want to use the control stick to move around this course. You can't use it too harshly, otherwise it'll spin out. And I am sorry about that noise. That was a motorcycle going around my house. As I mentioned in my Wario Land Let's Play, there are a lot of motorcycles that go around my house. Oh crap. Oh, I messed up. Maybe, maybe, maybe. No, I still win, thank god. Woohoo! Wario wins. Wario's the wiener. Although I think he says, I'm the best in this game. Okay, third turn. Okay, that was one of the special item blocks that you can buy through the mushroom shop. Uh, it's yellow, so it's a slow block. It uh, basically gives you a dice block with only numbers 1 through 3 on it. Very annoying, especially if you want to get a big number. Oh, and Toad switches around again. <laughs> Jeez. That's three happening spaces in the last turn. Okay, I got a nine. Now, this way over here is the shorter way, but I want to go this way because Boo is actually over here. For those of you who don't remember, Boo can steal coins and stars from your opponents. And in this game, uh, stealing coins is actually free. They up the cost to five coins in future Mario Party games, uh, starting with number two. Tipsy Tourney. This is a very classic minigame for me. This is actually the very first minigame I ever played in the Mario uh, Party franchise. I was playing it at a friend's house, and I was like the only one who knew what to do. I was like, come on guys, you gotta uncover the squares with the turtle shell. Did I get it? 
Yes, I did. Wario wins. I'm the best. 31 coins already. That's another thing. I think the mini games are actually pretty easy. But when you get with uh, other human players and not just computer players, this game becomes difficult as hell. Uh, me and my friends used to play this game all the time, and we were just, ugh. The games were so intense. Uh, we'd, we'd always do 50 turn games too, because we just had fun playing this game. Uh, let's steal from, uh, let's steal from DK, I guess. He has the most coins out of everybody. Also, the coin, the amount of coins you steal is pretty random in this game too. Uh, in future games, usually you get uh, anywhere from 16 to 20 coins if you steal from computer players. But now it's pretty random. Sometimes you can only like steal one coin. Uh oh, bowl over. Another classic Mario Party minigame. Okay, pretty simple. You don't want to get knocked over by the, <laughs> the bowling pin or the bowling shell. She's going for me, isn't she? Finish. Too bad. She got Donkey Kong, though. Good job, Peach. You got Donkey Kong. Now, the games actually go by pretty fast, which I was kind of debating whether or not to do a 20, uh, 20 or 35 turn game. But since I didn't really have that much to show you, I went ahead and just went for 20. Now, this would probably make it a lot easier on me in the long run, because it takes a long time to edit an hour and a half Mario Party game. It's probably even like sh a little shorter than that, but still. It requires me to sit at the computer for a long length of time, which I do not like doing. Okay, so uh, Donkey Kong failed. Sorry, Donkey Kong. Uh, Bowser steals up to a maximum of 40 coins, and that is a lot considering the other levels. In one level, in one level, he only steals like 10 coins, but it's 40 in this level. So I better hope I not, I don't get Bowser. Otherwise, I'm going to lose a lot of coins. And speaking of coin totals, look at how many coins I have right now. 41. That is the worst amount of coins you can ever have at one given time. Uh, that is that is a terrible. Thank God I got three more coins. Uh, 41 is just a terrible number. And Peach is going to play a one-player mini game. Pedal Power. This is actually a very, very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, what, what is that word? Uh, well, uh, the controls for this game are actually some of the most bizarre, or not really bizarre, but the most hated yes. control schemes ever to be imagined in a Mario Party game. In order to pedal, you have to rotate the control stick, and that's been known to cause a lot of controversy uh, for this game. Because there are so many games where you have to rotate the control stick, and it's actually even caused injuries because a lot of people do it with the palm of their hand. And when they do that, like, you're essentially like rolling your palm of your hand on like a little stick almost. So it leaves a mark and almost a bruise. It can bruise really easily. And there are so many games in this uh, in this game that use that mechanic, so it's very annoying. Okay. Collect the coins. It's a lot easier for the person on the flower, obviously. Come on, Wario. Get it. Yes. Another thing I liked about this game is because even when it's a one versus three, and you're on the team of three, you're still working for yourself pretty much. Because uh, the toin co the to the toin co the toin totals the coin totals of how many coins each person gets doesn't adds up doesn't add up to the team of three. Uh, you only get what you collected, so it's important that you actually collect coins. Okay, uh, blue blocks, those are plus blocks. You get uh, how many coins you got on the dice block in addition to your actual movement. Donkey Kong gets a mushroom, so he's going again. 
And he's going over there. He could have hit the happening space for more controversy, but he decided not to. Okay, I am unsure of which, uh, if I'll get Bowser or Toad. It's looking pretty close right now. Balloon burst. Okay, here's a little secret or some trivia about me in this minigame. I used to be really good at this minigame, but now, like, my skills have faded with an age, so I can never do this minigame properly anymore. Although I'm winning, strangely. Finish. Hey, I actually won. Wow. <laughs> That's like the first time I've won that minigame in like years. Uh, you want to rotate between the A and B button. 